So it's been a long campaign, you know, uh, what does it mean you know, to kind of just finally be able to vote on this day and then kind of just sum up this whole process? Well, it's light at the end of the tunnel for me, but it also reaffirms the whole process, this whole journey. I started a year and a half ago uh, actively campaigning, and this day has finally arrived, and I feel really positive. I have no regrets here, and just complete gratitude to everyone who's helped me all along the way, engaging with the public, engaging with voters, engaging with communities around this entire island. And one thing that stands out for me is there's a lot of hope and optimism in our community. People are looking forward. They want to see problems solved. I talk about solutions, not the problems. I don't look at blaming people. I look at trying to find the common ground, working together to make our community better than it is today. And I see a lot of hope out there. You talked about, uh, since the primary, your momentum. Tell us, tell us what you think about it today. Well, all of you have been reporting um, how I was third in every poll when I started out. Many people say the baga cannot win, and it's just been one steady climb ever since. I feel that momentum. I felt it for the past month. In the past two weeks, it's really picked up. Everywhere I go, anywhere I go, people are coming up, shaking my hand when I wave, you know, it's the V sign, the thumbs up, the shaka. doesn't mean in every case they voted for me, but it means I'm getting a positive response, and I think that's because my message has gotten out there, you know, from day one I've talked about all the issues. It's not just one issue for me, and I'm not fighting to kill something. I'm fighting to solve problems, making our sewage treatment better, repaving roads, taking care of our parks, removing our garbage properly. All the nitty-gritty things that people expect from a mayor. I mean, a mayor's job is very different from a governor's job. And it's things that people will care, really care about. If they're not done immediately every day, people get upset. I love those issues, and I think people are starting to hear that message. Art, maybe speak to what your plans are for today. Are, are you pretty much done campaigning? Do you plan to sign wave a little bit more? Or I'm going to sign you? wave a little bit. I'm going to go down um, and be interviewed on a radio station. Um, you know, I'm going to be out earning every last vote I can get. You know, in Hawaii, you have to show the voter that you're working hard for their vote. It's not just a matter of an endorsement or I've waved here or waved there. And so I'll continue to do that up to the time the polls close. I'm going to try to take some time and get in the water. You know, for me, I love surfing, it's not a paddleboarding, but if I can just get in the water, I know I'll feel better and more energized when I come out. If elected, what's the first thing you want to do as mayor? One of the things I want to do is restore bus routes. You know, I've watched, I've traveled on the bus, I've seen the impact of restricting bus routes, and particularly the hardship it's created for our seniors who really depend on the bus to get to and from work to the doctors. And I think we'll have to work hard to find the money we need to restore some of the routes. You know, uh, could go back. I mean, obviously, this campaign has had a lot of negative ads. Do you think that's kind of? Are you happy with the tone that this this race is kind of taken, or is that just part of the political process that things have kind of transpired this way? You know, my, I've, my campaign has stayed positive from day one. I've never blamed anyone for any problem, um, or even talked about problems and solutions. But you know, I don't like the fact there's so much negative <coughs> campaigning going on. I mean, there's PRPM, there's defend ban. It tends to suck the air out of. And we end up talking about negative campaigning instead of the issues. I'm running to talk about the issues and running to talk about solving problems. And to the extent negative campaigning takes that away from the debate, I don't like that. You know, I want to, and I think most voters want to hear about, hey, what is my mayor going to do to make my life better every day? Not about what ad is more negative or who's doing what to whom. Having said that, it's the nature of politics in our country today. You see it on the national level. You see it in a race for the United States Senate here in Hawaii. You see it in the mayor's race. It is unfortunate. I don't know if this is the nature of politics today or whether it's always been like this.